Hello and welcome to Marine Connection. My name is Damien. We're at the water today and I'm going to be presenting to you another beautiful boat by Marine Connection. It is a 2008 Seafox 256 center console and it's powered by Suzuki 300 horsepower four-stroke motor. Um, our service department has done a mechanical inspection. Motor has a total of 34 hours on it and a warranty is through 4-8 of 2011. You can check that out on the listing as well. Uh, we're going to start at the back of the boat, work our way forward. We're going to take it out for a quick ride and show you how it runs. Starting at the transom, um, both sides starboard and port side, we do have some swim platforms and there is a recess boarding ladder over on the port side. Center of the transom, we have a large splash well and then you have access down to your bilge area and whatnot. You also have your primer bowl back there and the, as you can see the motor is equipped with hydraulic steering. Two stern cleats, two midship cleats and a bow cleat all the way forward. Okay, um, Easy access on and off the boat into the cockpit. Uh, these basically just fold down, okay, remove the jump seat, uh, and this will flip forward. You can also remove it as well, and uh, that gives you easy access on both sides. So if you're doing some diving and you want to get into the water with a scuba gear and whatnot, two divers can jump off the boat at the same time. At the, directly behind the transom, we have a fire rod rocket launcher, and then directly in front of that, we have a humongous live well, okay? Four mounted uh, rod holders, gunnel, gunnel mounted rod holders, Stainless steel cup holders. Sea Fox does a good job putting cup holders throughout the boat. And uh, undergone rod storage and some combing bolsters. The upholstery on the boat is in pretty good condition. Uh, a couple little scuff marks here and there, but overall I'd say it's in good condition. And then you have access down, at the back you have access down to your batteries and battery switch. The boat is equipped with dual batteries. On either side of the cockpit, we have our fish boxes, large fish boxes. And then the deck is also a self bailing deck. Two drain holes on either side of the, of the back of the boat. A uh, nice leaning post with a little tackle rigging station. And then you do have the chocks for about a 48 quart cooler underneath the leaning post. Nice uh, backrest, nice seating. Up at the dash or at the helm, we have our Danforth, uh, Danforth uh, compass, tilt wheel, our accessories for our rocker switches, and everything is. Uh, operational at this time. Lenko trim tabs and then the Suzuki 300 has a digital throttle system on it so it's a nice feature to have as well. It's just very smooth. Uh, takes a little getting used to for those of you who are used to the old uh, cable type uh, throttles but uh, definitely it's a nice feature to have on the boat. Tackle storage or, or I should say glove box for your cell phones, wallets and whatnot. There's a 12 volt out, the, out there. Uh, accessory down there. Suzuki digital gauge gives you different functions of the motor. T-tops in great condition, same with the canvas, the aluminum and the canvas, everything's in good shape. And then we have an electronics box over here. Off to the right hand side of the console, there is tackle storage, okay? Nice little tubes for if you want to put some lures and whatnot. Hooks, knives, etc. down below. On the other side, you can't see it, but you'll see it in the pictures. We do have an enclosed head, okay? And this boat is equipped with a marine toilet, okay, and it has its uh, holding tank and uh, overboard discharge. Uh, taking it up forward to the front of the boat, in front of the console we have two jump seats, and then we have some wraparound seating all the way forward. As you can see, you have a nice backrest up there. You can uh, definitely stretch your legs to get some rays up here for the ladies. We have the sandbar where the boys are fishing, and you just want to chill out, you can. We do have some uh, storage underneath the uh, both seat cushions. Uh, like I mentioned before, we do have our cleat forward, our anchor compartment, and we do have a bow pulpit on the boat. Uh, low profile bow rail, nice high gunnel sides. The boat's definitely a very safe boat. And uh, well, that pretty much concludes the top side of it. Uh, gel coat, good condition. Outside of the hull might have a couple little scratches, but overall it's, it's in great condition. Um, obviously that blue color is very attractive. And then, uh, Upholstery, like I mentioned before, is in great shape. Might have a couple little scuff marks here and there, but overall it's in good condition. So, motor definitely runs great. Let's fire it up, take it out for a quick spin. Digital startup system as well. Good to go.
that's it for us here in a marine connection and this uh, video I hope you enjoyed it. as you can see it's a great running boat plenty of room it's a good fishing machine and uh, I should say an awesome fishing machine condition very good condition all the way around my name is Damien call me or write me an email if you have any questions from West Palm Beach Florida marine connection God bless and have a great day